Good evening. I'm Heather Heron. And I'm Mark Mellinger. Last night, Fort Wayne City Council decided to take the co-location discussion off the table for now. Five members are unwilling to fork over a million dollars under the current terms. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper is live in news control with our top story tonight. Now, Chris, you talked to county leaders. How do they feel about this decision? Well, Mark, people might expect them to be upset today, but they truly see this as a minor bump in the road. They fully expect co-location will move forward as planned. Doesn't need it. They were offered money in the past. They turned it down two and a half million dollars. Said we don't need your money. So why are we still trying to give them money? City Councilman Tom Smith was one of five members at Tuesday night's meeting, unwilling to talk about giving a million dollars to the co-location plan. Co-location will cost anywhere from ten to fourteen million dollars. The county has agreed to contribute three million to move the city and county police departments into the city county building. The city is supposed to give one million. News Channel 15 spoke to County Councilwoman Paula Hughes and County Commissioner Nelson Peters about City Council's decision. They want to know what the final costs are going to be. Actually, it was a move that reminds me of something County Council would do. Uh, we always want to know all the facts and figures before we make a decision or appropriate money. There's not a whole lot of different ways that those dollars can be used when you're talking about building out a public safety operation. The county does have a $21 million rainy day fund. That's why Smith says it doesn't need a million dollars. Most of those dollars uh, have been earmarked, and even with the earmarks, we still don't have enough to do everything that the citizens of Allen County say they want. That doesn't mean that we should pay for renovations in the building that go beyond our fair share. Smith says city council is willing to contribute to co-location, just not like this. Ozzie Mitson is a spokesperson for the mayor's office. He calls Tuesday night's meeting a misunderstanding. I think some council members might have viewed it as an appropriation, which it was not. It was just a resolution to move forward. Mitson says a new resolution will be on city council's table at its next meeting in two weeks. Reporting live in News Control, Chris Hopper, News Channel 15. In